So today I just wanted to do an easy, laid back, chatty get ready with me, just chatting with you guys. Some things that's been on my mind, maybe some possible schedule changes with my channel. And I thought I would also just share an everyday, easy makeup look. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Julie and I'll help you find the best affordable beauty and drugstore makeup products. I'll show you how to enjoy your current makeup collection and help you to become more confident and elevate your beauty from the inside out by teaching you my best makeup techniques and sharing with you my most valuable life lessons. So if that resonates with you, you should subscribe and stick around. I'm just using my e.l.f. putty, my e.l.f. liquid poreless putty primer. I don't know why, but I can never remember the name of that. <laughs> it's like I'm just going to use the PPP. <laughs> but I'm just going to put that all over my face. I just thought today I would do just like an easy, just get ready with me. Um, like I've been kind of thinking about my videos and I know um, I told you guys that I would let you all know if like doing five videos a week was too much for me. <laughs> and I kind of feel like I'm going to use my Vaseline Rosy Lips to moisturize my lips and then I'm going to be going in with my Revlon color stay for my foundation um but I do kind of feel like five videos is a little too much for me to film every single week it's like some weeks I think that filming five videos would be okay but then maybe like other weeks maybe I just do four or three videos it's like I kind of don't necessarily like the thought of not having like a set schedule for you guys because I know that you know to build your channel or to just so that you guys would know when to expect videos from me like YouTube always tells you like post videos at the same time on the same days and all that and I do want to do that but like you know sometimes like y'all know life gets in the way sometimes and or maybe you're not feeling well or you know you're human and sometimes you can't always be 100% the same week to week especially being like a woman <laughs> and you know like your cycle and all of that like some weeks you feel more energetic and other weeks you feel like more tired and all that but I don't know I'm still on the fence about what I went to 100% do but I'm thinking of maybe just dropping down to four videos a week and I haven't decided the exact days that I'll post like if I'll post Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday or Monday through Thursday I don't know if it really matters the exact days that I post because I feel like maybe you know if you couldn't watch videos on Monday or maybe you don't watch YouTube on Monday then you just watch it whatever day you come back to YouTube to watch videos so I don't know if it like really 100% matters on the day that I like post my videos but yeah that's kind of where I'm at right now I mean I do enjoy and it's like also to another reason why the five days a week posting is kind of a little bit too much for me is it's just like I would film in the morning edit in the afternoon and then like post the video get it ready do all like my links where I link all the products and stuff like all the information down in the description box for you guys and like all of that is like a full day's work <laughs> to do all that um and then you know by the end of the day it's like I still need to respond back to your comments and I just feel like I always run out of time to be able to respond back to comments. So that's kind of another reason why I want to go down to four videos because I'm thinking that like Monday through Thursday I could film and then on Fridays I could 
just do like tie up all the loose ends from the week like maybe if I didn't get videos finished or like finished editing or like all the links done or thumbnails or you know I could use Friday to catch up on all of that and then also use Friday to catch up on responding back to all of your comments because I just don't like I don't like that feeling where I feel like I'm not 100% connecting with you guys even though you all probably don't feel that way but like I just don't like feeling that hanging over my head where I haven't responded back to you guys um, because I've been too busy with just trying to keep up with my videos editing and all of that so that's kind of what I'm thinking about whoops just knocked the mic off <laughs> But that's kind of what I'm thinking about moving forward. I know that you guys will be okay with whatever I decide to do, but just know that I'm in the thought process of maybe cutting back down to four videos a week. Um, I mean, I have enjoyed doing these videos every day for you guys, but I think like maybe over the long, term I don't want to get to a place like before where I'm super burned out or just feel overwhelmed because I do everything myself for my concealer I'm going to be using the Catrice under eye eye brightener and on top of that I'm going to use my elf camo concealer and this is in the shade light sand like always I will have like my shades and everything listed down in the description box if you're ever curious but yeah, like what I was saying, I like do all of my stuff, like all of my editing, video planning, like the whole thing. So, you know, that's just kind of how it is with me. Like I told you guys in yesterday's video, um, like with goals where, or just like my life in general, I feel like I'm always like reassessing what I'm doing and figuring out like, does this feel too much for me? Like, is this healthy for me? Like, how do I feel about this? I feel like I'm always reflecting and just experimenting and readjusting things in my life to like get things <laughs> in a place where I feel more balanced. And that's the thing about life, you know, sometimes balance changes like over time depending on what you have going on in your life currently so but we'll get there and we'll figure I'll figure out like what the right rhythm is for me so but I just wanted to challenge myself and I am like really proud of doing these five videos a week for the past like four weeks. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that like here on my channel. It's basically like vlogmas but not. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with all of that. But we got quite a bit not really like a ton of snow last night but I would say we probably got a good three inches and it's still currently coming down so we got like a nice snow day today I know at the beginning of the week I think it was yeah at the beginning of this week we did also get some snow but it was literally just like a dusting of snow like maybe an an inch or half inch of snow and yeah like today we've got like three inches of snow I feel like where I live here um, I live like right outside of Louisville Kentucky we get snow but not usually a ton of snow I feel like anything over about three or four inches is kind of a lot for our area and sometimes like our city isn't well equipped with enough snow plows and all of that to get like all the roads clear. So <laughs> definitely if we ever get like a foot of snow, it like shuts down the whole like city. <laughs> and I don't know, they might be better equipped now, but I remember whenever I was young, like in 1994, we got the biggest snow storm 
where I live and because I've like lived the same area my whole life um, and we got like over a foot of snow and it shut the whole town down like the whole city down for about like a week it was a huge deal I remember like not going to school for like a whole week and getting to play video games with my brother all week long so that was a really fun memory for me and I never will forget that it was also like extremely cold that week too so I'm just going in with my L'Oreal infallible or not infallible I don't know why I just said that the L'Oreal true match super blendable powder I'm just gonna set everything But has it been snowing where you guys live? Like I told you guys, I'm filming this like a week ahead. So this is January the 19th. So I know that probably a lot of areas in the Midwest are probably getting hit with snow today or at least like this past week or weekend. It's crazy, but like, so this week it's been mainly in the teens and single digits. Like yesterday, the high got up to like 36 <laughs> and that was like a heat wave <laughs> this week. But next week, the highs are going to be in the 50s and 40s. It's just like the weather here is insane. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with some more of that and just put it here underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna get this foundation off of my lips and apply some more of my lip conditioner. And I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids so that can be drying down before I do my eyeshadow. I'm just using my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. And it's not really so much that it's too much to film five days, but it's all the other stuff that's too much, like the editing, the doing the links, the thumbnails, like it just takes so much time. Like however much time it takes to film, you might as multiply that by at least four or five and that's how much longer it's going to be to do all the other steps to making a video. <laughs> So that's why like larger YouTubers have like a team to help them because you know they're able to put out more content or at least higher quality content because they have more time to focus on it. Off camera I went ahead and did my eyebrows and I just filled them in with my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Prep and Shape Pro Kit. And then I'm gonna go back through my brows again with my e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel to set everything in place. Okay, I know I've been using a lot of the same products this week, but I've really been enjoying them so much. So that just shows you guys what I'm actually loving. But I'm trying to figure out what brush I'm gonna use. Oh, I liked using this brush yesterday for my bronzer. This is the e.l.f. Cream and Powder Face Brush. So I used this side over here for like my bronzer and I really enjoyed that. And then I've used this side here for blush. So maybe I'll use that for blush today, like the e.l.f. Camo blushes. I'm gonna use my NYX blush in taupe. This is probably my favorite bronzer for winter. Like honestly, I forgot how much I loved this product until I used it on Monday. When I did that cool toned, everyday cool toned makeup look, it made me realize like how much I do really enjoy this product. So I'm just going to bronze up with that. And then I think I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in Suave Mauve. I've also really been enjoying that color. And that's another thing about filming Monday through Friday. I'm like, do you guys get tired of me using the same makeup and all that in videos? I'm like, that's probably boring, but maybe not. Maybe that just helps to show you guys like what I'm really into and what I'm really liking. I'm going to take a little bit here on my nose. I mean, I think that's really the only thing is if you kind of apply too much of it which is kind of what happened to me today do you see how it almost gives you like almost a gray effect 
So I have to remember that because like see how this side doesn't really look like that. That's the only issue with this blush is if you apply too much of it, it can start to look a bit ashy or gray, um, especially on my skin tone. Maybe on other people that are really cool, it wouldn't look that way. But So now I'm going to go ahead and apply this Suave Mauve blush and just apply it to the back of the hand. And I'm going to go in with the opposite side of this e.l.f. brush. And this brush is specially designed to be used with these blushes. So hopefully <laughs> this blush will help to warm up that kind of cool tone spot on my face. It's like while I do like this blush or brush for this blush like I think it blends it out pretty good it's almost too dense for my liking like maybe that works best if you apply the product directly to your face or something I like to use a whoops I just kicked the camera <laughs> I like to use a slightly like not quite as dense brush with it because I feel like it blends the blush out a bit more and it's not as concentrated. If you use a more dense kind of brush, I feel like it makes it a bit more concentrated. Okay, and for my highlight, I'm gonna use the highlight in this e.l.f. contour palette. It's just a really natural looking highlight. Okay, and I'm going to take some of this blush and I'm going to blend it in my crease. I'm going to do more of like a one and done eyeshadow look. On the eyelid, I'm going to use this Essence Melted Chrome Eyeshadow in I Ironic, yeah, in Ironic, which is a like a taupe bronze shade. So, so pretty. I wish that Essence hadn't discontinued these because they are such beautiful eyeshadows. So I'm just gonna first lightly apply it with my finger, but then I'm gonna go in with a brush and just kind of intensify it. I mean, if you wanted to apply it really lightly, you could do it like that, but I'm going to take a brush so I can be like a little bit more precise with the placement. But it's such a pretty just like one and done eyeshadow. I do like to put a little bit of a bronzer in my crease just to kind of warm up my crease area a little bit so it's not, you know, so it gives it like a little bit of dimension. But I do feel like this is one of those shades that you could, it could just be like a one and done shade. I'm going to go back with just a little bit more of the bronzer or the blush, I should say. Just go around the edge. Normally I would put like a lighter color in my inner corner and all of that, but I guess I'm going to skip that today. And I'm going to go ahead and just mist my face with my makeup setting spray, do my mascara and my lips. So just using my, just using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I'm just going to curl up my lashes and apply my mascara. And I'm going to use my Lash Sensational by Maybelline. This is in the blackest black shade. And then for my lips, I'm going to do something just like really wearable. This is one of the e.l.f. Reviver lip oils. And this is in the shade... I can never see these. It's like Rose something. I think it's Rose Envy. Yeah, Rose Envy. So 
So that is this makeup look completed. I hope that you guys enjoyed this chatty get ready with me. Me just doing like a quick everyday makeup look. If you enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in Monday's video. Bye bye. Mwah. You shouldn't doubt yourself because you're a work of art.